Hello, I am Qi Song, Instructor of Mathematics at Georgia Highlands College. In this video, we will examine the order of transformations. In order to understand the order of transformation, you must know the basic transformation of functions. If what you see on the screen does not make any sense to you, then please watch the previous video on basic transformation of functions. We will look at whether the order of transformation matters, and if so, why does it matter? When does it matter? And what is the correct order of transformation? Here we have the function f of x equals parentheses x plus 2 squared minus 3. First, determine the transformations. The plus 2 here is going to move the graph to the left 2, and the minus 3 is going to move it down 3. Let's see if the order matters. This time, we're going to move it left 2 first, and then down 3. Backwards, down 3, and then left 2. What do you notice? They're the exact same thing. Now let's see the correct graph, which is that one. And they're all correct. And how can you get the correct graph? Well, you can do it on the calculator or you can create a t-chart of x and y values and then plotting individual points. And in either way, they are both correct. What about something else, like reflections and stretches? Here we have a vertical stretch by 2 and a horizontal reflection. So let's do a reflection on y-axis first. And it does nothing because it is reflecting on y-axis, this line. Now stretch vertically by a factor of 2, that one. Now backwards. Vertical stretch here. Notice that the y values are doubled by a factor of 2. And then do a horizontal reflection. Once again, it doesn't go anywhere. And what do you notice? They're both the same, and they're both correct. So it seems that you can do vertical first, horizontal first. It does not matter whether they're shifts, reflection, or stretching. Now, what if there are multiple vertical transformations? Here we have a vertical reflection and vertical translation. So let's do a reflection first on x-axis. Now shift up to. Now backwards. Move it up to first and then reflect. They're different, but which one is the correct one? It is the first one. So it seems that when it comes to multiple vertical transformation, we have to do reflections and then the shift comes after. So that's what we discovered. We must do a stretch, shrink, or reflect and then shift is coming after. This time we have multiple horizontal transformation. The half in front is going to stretch the x by a factor of 2. Remember it's backwards. Since x is being halved, it's being multiplied by 2. And the plus 3 inside makes you move it to the left by 3. So let's try the stretch first and then the shift. Here's the original, stretch the x value by a factor of 2. Notice that the x used to be 1, now it's twice as much. It used to be 2, now it's twice as much, a 4. Now move that to the left by 3. Backwards. Move it to the left by 3 first. And then now multiply the x, the stretch, by a factor of 2. So notice that it used to be here at negative 1, now negative 2. It used to be negative 3, now negative 6, and the negative 5 became negative 10. These two are, once again, not the same kind of graph. Which one is the correct one? It is the second one. So it seems that when it comes to horizontal transformations, shift happens first, and then stretch. So horizontal transformation shift first, and then the stretch. So let's summarize. First, you can do vertical first or horizontal first. 
it does not matter because the vertical and horizontal do not influence each other. Next, if you have multiple horizontal transformations, you must do the shift first and then stretch, shrink, reflect. Now the opposite, the vertical transformations, the stretch, shrink, and reflect will happen first and then the shift. So here is an example of f of x equals negative parentheses x plus 3 squared then plus 5. So in this equation, three things are happening. The horizontal shift of left by 3, and in terms of vertical, we have to reflect on x-axis up and down, and then move it up 5. So we know that it doesn't matter if we start with the horizontal or vertical. Let's just start with the horizontal. So here is the original parent function. We move it to the left 3. Next, when it comes to vertical, remember, we have to do the stretch and shrink first. So we're going to do the reflection first and then do the shift. Now we reflect it up and down. Now move it up 5. There you go. That is the equation of negative parentheses x plus 3 squared plus 5. Let's look at another one. This time there are four things happening. We have horizontal reflection, horizontal shift, vertical reflection, and vertical shift. So once again, we could start with the horizontal or vertical. Choose the one you prefer. I'm going to do the horizontal first, but when it comes to horizontal, remember I have to do the shift first. So I'm going to do the shift first, left one, and then reflect on the y-axis. So it used to be positive 1. Now reflect. It used to be negative 3. Now positive 3. Now move it vertical direction on the x-axis up and down. Get that green one. Now move it down 3. There you go. That is the final action. Uh, here we have a f of x function. We don't even know the equation, but we have the graph. And that is enough. And if you're asked to graph 2 f of x plus 1, what would you have to do? If you think you know the answer, feel free to leave a comment. If you have questions, you may email me at the following web address. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.